this is the bass I used all last year on our tours. Fucking cool fucking bass. It's for sale, too. For a mere $4,000, you can own this 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. What's funny is I can't even sell this fucking thing for 300 fucking dollars, man. Unreal. And now it's not for sale. <laughs> I'm going into a different business and I'm keeping all these. Floyd, that's your favorite. He loves this. He goes, what is that? My fucking shit is overdrive, Floyd. What the fuck? God. The audience is listening. Because that's your, because your idea of putting that stupid fucking pillowcase on my head fucked my hat up. I know, man. It's chill biz, right? Hang in there, brother. I love Floyd. Me and him, well, we've been on a journey, right? Right, Floyd? Hey. The guy with the best show wins, right? Dude. Okay, so we got to where we we're opening the show, and he goes, the Kid Rock song. I'm like, motherfucker, I got my own songs for you. He says, you're not famous. I want the fucking Kid Rock song. My fucking song, he says, my fucking song is, you ain't never met a motherfucker quite like me. I said, look, man, we're really pushing it. We have your demo out there. We have your fucking trailer, and it, and it opens up, and you dance, and it's really fucking cool. Let's leave that song alone so we don't get sued before we get famous, right? Put tell me to fuck myself, man. Put the fucking song in or play the one you got for me. <laughs> he didn't say play the... He hates the one I got for him. How you doing tonight, man? How's everybody doing? Hello, Carol. Hello, Troy. Hello, Amy. Hello, Mike. Hello, um, April. Hello, uh, Martin. Hello, Brad. Hello, uh, Tina. And hello, Robert. And, uh, God. yikes. Ugh. Hello, Satan. Hello, God. Hello, uh, uh, President, uh, <laughs> hello, President Trump. Hello, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I know one thing I forgot to shave, man. I realize it's my responsibility to keep my hygiene up for the for our up and coming 
intro to the world, right? Like me and mm. me and Floyd, we already got our fucking life planned out. We're going to Saturday Night Live. Are you gonna I mean, they're starving for somebody like me and Floyd there. Have you watched that show lately? They're hungry for me and Floyd. And so after I'm done here, I'm going to do at least an hour. But when I'm done here, I'm going to release our next trailer, which is an hour and 15 minute trailer. And what it is, is a documentary on our movie, right? Hey, in this world, you got to take control of your own life, man. Put yourself where you want to be and dominate. Floyd said that's the most realest thing I've said all, all fucking week. I told him to shut his fucking mouth because he's just nothing but a... Okay, last night, let me explain. We used the C word with the sucker on the end of it, right? You can say it all you want. They can't hear you, you wing nut. And so anyways, we used that so much that what we had built here, it was a lesson, right? I mean, life comes with lessons, right? Right, Floyd? Floyd says, get on with it. Floyd actually is in love with my bass playing and loves nothing more than to hear me just travel through the notes like this. Anyways, so listen, man, I'm on fire right now. It's my time, right? Floyd, shut up, man. God. I almost didn't bring him out. I almost put him in the closet because I'm coming to a pinnacle right now. I've got all the material I need, man. I was going through the material all day trying to cut the excerpts out. Man, the videos. I mean, we did a video this afternoon that was fucking legendary. It explained the screenplay. It explained what I'm doing here. It, it talked about all the elements of what we're playing with. He asked me to shut up and play bass now that I know that he's absolutely in fit just infatuated with the fact that I play bass and I got long hair and he vicariously lives through me and he said, well, if I was you right now, I'd play that fucking bass. It's all, it's the only chance we have of keeping nobody in the room because that's what it says is that here, you know, it says, ah, nobody's in the room. And then one day I was walking down the aisle, just bozy bopping down. Come on, Floyd, let's do this. Floyd is real stupid tonight. I found his bag of bed, then I tucked it in the toilet, and he's real pissed. Floyd is getting on the pink cloud tonight. He said it was cooler the first night. He's right, man. I see something and I go, man, that's cool. Like that. You know, and here's the deal. I've written a lot of songs and then I carry on playing them, right? I fucking claw and dig to try to get at the essence of what I was doing when I fucking snapped that off the end of improv. So everything we do out here is improv. We set the stage so you so we know what you see. We want we want to give you the effect of like Daryl's house, right? I think my set, I think my fucking set blows Daryl's house away, right? You want to know something about my set and the pleasantness about it in the background is I did it all. I painted that sign. I painted that fucking logo. I painted.